Okay, so in the first chapter, we're going to add, subtract, multiply, divide fractions. Okay, so before we do that, we want to first review operations on the integers. Okay, so before we get started, we want to talk about what are integers and what are operations. Okay, so the integers are... The set of those numbers, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, going all the way back. 0, 1, 2, and going all the way forward. Okay, smaller and smaller, getting larger and larger, right? Uh, what chapter 1 is dedicated to is fractions. Like I said, before we get into fractions, we want to make sure we know how to deal with these guys. Okay, that is in particular the pluses and the minuses, what to do with those. Uh, so what are operations? Well, your operations are add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Okay, our four basic operations. Uh, so those are what we're going to be working with. Um, for the majority of the class, these types of operations are going to come up a lot, okay? So just remember, when we deal with integers, I'm going to start with two numbers. I'm going to pick 8 and 4, okay? And we're going to add and subtract, multiply and divide them, and look what happens when the 8 and the 4 are positive, when the 8 and the 4 are negative, and, and so on, okay? So really, there's four cases. I'm going to start with these two operations, okay? So pick 8 and 4, all right? 8 plus 4, hopefully we know, add them together, you get 12. Okay, and the point here is that's an easy case when they're both positive, you add. Alright? Now what about if I make the first one negative? Okay, now here's where some people have troubles. Negative 8 plus 4, you gotta realize what to do. Okay, I'm gonna set this up in a series of rules. Um, when they're both positive, you add. That's an easy one. When the sides are different, we're adding. We're subtracting. What you want to do is subtract. Okay, so it says negative 8 plus 4, so what I'm going to do is always subtract. When 1's negative and 1's positive. Alright, so subtract, I get 4, and the rule is to keep the sign of the bigger number. Okay, negative 4. Alright, there's a couple ways to explain that. That's the rule. The rule is when 1's negative and 1's positive, I subtract and keep the sign. That's one way to think of it. There's other ways to think about that. Okay, let me show you another way. Think about a number line. There's my negative 8. Okay, so I start with this guy on the left, and then I add 4 to it. So what does that do? If I add 4, that's going in the positive direction. Right, this is the positive direction. So I'm going to add 4, and I go 4 this way. 1, 2, 3, 4. It puts me right there. Where is that? That's a negative 4, okay? So just more than one way to think about any of these problems. Okay, next example. 8 minus 4. The 8 is positive, the 4 is negative, all right? 8 minus 4, it's the same thing as saying, you might have learned, 8 plus negative 4, they're the same thing. 8 minus 4, 8 plus negative 4, same thing, okay? Um, but what I'm interested in here is the signs of these. I got one positive and one negative, right? This 8's positive, 4 is negative. So what do I do? I do the same thing I did in the previous example. I subtract and keep the sign of the bigger number. Right? In this case, I keep the sign of the 8. So 8 minus 4 is positive 4. Note the difference here. This is, this is where a lot of confusion comes in. In these two examples, I see a lot of mistakes there. So try to remember those. One sign's negative, one sign's positive. You always subtract, so you get 4 to start with. And then you keep the sign of the bigger number. And this example is negative 4, and the second example is positive 4 because the 8 was bigger. All right? Um, and then the last case would be if they're both negative. Negative 8 minus 4, right? So here we have two negative numbers, okay? You don't get a positive. That's a mistake I see a lot. That's what we're multiplying. We're going to get to that, okay? But I'm saying right here, read from left to right, negative 8 minus 4. The signs are the same, just like this first example. Signs are the same, so I add and keep the sign. Okay? So I can categorize these two together. Signs are the same, add, keep the sign. Signs are the same, add, keep the sign. And put these two guys together. Okay? Signs are different. Subtract, keep the sign of the bigger one. Okay? Remember that. It's very important. Um, so we got two operations left. Multiply and divide. Okay, same two numbers. Eight 
8 times 4, 32. Okay, easy enough, right? Um, again, what we're interested in is the sign. So what happens when one of them's negative? Okay, so 8 times negative 4. Okay, that looks a little funny. We'll see this most of the time in our textbook as without the time sign. It'll just be, the numbers will be in parentheses. One will be in parentheses, it'll both be in parentheses. Two numbers next to each other like that always means multiply. Okay, so I got 8 times negative 4, so I multiply. I get 32, and it's negative. Okay, why is it negative when I multiply a positive by a negative? It's always negative. It doesn't matter that the 8's bigger, right? There's different rules for addition and subtraction than with multiplication and division. Okay, 8 times negative 4, negative 32. So what happens if I do negative 4 times 8? In this case, the smaller number is negative, but it doesn't matter. Negative 4 times 8 is also negative 32. Okay, and then this is the rule that everyone remembers and sometimes mixes up with addition and subtraction. Negative 4 times negative 8, when you multiply two negatives, you get a positive number. Okay, so it's a little simpler with multiplication, and the same thing goes with division. If, if any of these were divided by, if I divide two positives, I get a positive. If I divide two negatives, I get a positive. Okay, if you divide one positive by a negative, you get a negative. Okay, so the rules are the same for division. Uh, so let's review. Multiply two positives, you get a positive. Multiply two negatives, you get a positive. Anytime you multiply a positive by a negative, no matter which one's bigger, you always get a negative. Okay? Uh, division is the same thing. So let's give you a couple example, examples. Notation, these mean the same thing. 8 divided by 4, 8 divided by 4. That's 2, right? Both positive, so I get a positive. Um, so like I said, anytime you go, let's go the other way around, let's do 4 divided by 8 and let's make 1 up of negative. These are the same thing, okay, same thing here. Um, you'll notice one of them is negative and one of them is positive, so I do the same rule, the same thing I did over here, I end up with a negative, my result should be negative. And in this case, I get a fraction, negative 4 over 8, uh, what I can do is just reduce the fraction in simplest form, that is, negative one half, right? Four goes into negative four, negative one times, four goes into eight, two times, okay? Um, so in review, you can take four cases for each one, right? When I multiply two positives, two negatives, I get a positive. Positive, negative, positive, negative, I get a negative multiplication. Addition, subtraction, this is the one people have problems with. Okay, add two positives, that should be easy. That's a positive. They're both negative, you still get a negative. Think of the number line if you want. Take this example to the number line, negative eight, take away four, you're going back this way, right? So one, two, three, four, put you back in negative 12. All right, and whenever the signs differ, you always subtract, and then you keep the sign of the big number. Okay, so that's important for what we're gonna do next, which is operations on fractions. Okay, next video.